is the 2021 Nissan GTR. And when the R35 version of the GTR debuted 14 years ago, it stunned the world. It immediately became the ultimate JDM car. But the world has progressed. Now there are new kids on the block, including what Alex is driving. What is that, Alex? Yeah, I brought the 2021 Toyota Supra, and it's in this super bright yellow color. And today we're gonna find out, is the GTR still the king? Now, obviously these two don't really compete. The Supra is $57,000. This GTR, 121 grand. The Supra's rear wheel drive. The GTR is all wheel drive. But, you know, if you look at the ultimate rivals throughout history, GTR and Supra have always been at the top of the heap. And we're gonna find out What's the situation in 2021? There's two engine options in the Supra, a two liter and a three liter. This is the three liter straight six, uh, makes 382 horsepower as a single turbo, eight speed automatic transmission, definitely a fun combination. Hey guys, Andre here. I interrupt your video for a quick special announcement. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some sort of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? Uh, ouch. And the best way to treat it is to get ahead of it while you still have hair left. You used to have to go to a doctor to get a prescription, but now, thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and have hair loss medication sent directly to your home. Keeps offers the only two FDA approved hair loss products to help save your hair and one product at a price you have not seen before. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash TFL or click in the link in the description below to save 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash T-F-L. Alex, for this first race, let's try something a little bit unusual. Let's do normal mode, automatic, no sport mode, nothing like that, and just plant it. Yeah, that sounds good. I just have it exactly how it, it came when I turned the car on. I'm not gonna touch anything. We'll leave it like that for the first race. And we are off. Full throttle. Oh, there's... He's definitely got me though. Woo wee! How was that? That was a good launch, but uh, you definitely had me. I did, but let's try something a little different. Do you have launch control in that car? I do. I'm gonna leave this thing in normal. Let's have you engage launch control and see if that changes things. Cool, let's do it. Let's go back to the start. Before we go drag racing, let's do a super slow-mo launch to see what they're like with launch control on in super slow motion. So to activate launch control in the GTR, it's pretty simple. Down here, there's three switches. You have a transmission setting, a suspension setting, and then VDC, vehicle dynamic control. To do launch control, you just need to put the uh, transmission and the VDC into R mode. So hold up on these two switches. Those both go red. You can also activate the R mode for the suspension as well, because why not? And then basically just mash down on the brake with your left foot, mash down on the gas with your right foot. It'll build to 4,000 RPM. You let off the brake good to go. All right, now we're in the Supra. I'll show you how traction control works in here. So first step is gonna be throwing it into drive. Now I need to activate sport mode. So just one press of that right there. You can see it on the screen, sport mode comes on. Same thing with traction control. Just press it once, don't hold it. That activates traction mode. And then same thing, mash down real hard with the brake with your left foot, right foot on the gas, builds to 2000 RPM and then release the uh, the brake and you're off. Interesting note though, the uh, the GTR launches at about 4,000 RPM, the Supra, 2,000. All right, so Alex, on this next race, I took you by a small margin on that first one um, with no launch control, no sport mode. But on this one, let's try this. I'm gonna leave this GTR just in the normal mode. Why don't you try launch control and the Supra and see if that makes any difference? 
Yeah, that sounds good. I'm engaging launch control right now. So sport mode on, traction control button off, and I should be good to go to launch this. All right, let's see if the GTR still has what it takes. The GTR actually launches really slowly if you leave it in just its normal automatic mode. This has a dual clutch auto, but if you're not boosting it, it just like walks off the line. Alex started doing a burnout for some reason. That wasn't engaged. Alex dealing with BMW launch control systems over there because of course the Supra co-developed with BMW. Let me, let me just make sure I can get the checkered flags up. Yep. A huge thank you to IMI Motorsports out here in Decono, Colorado for letting us come out here and use this super cool track. If you've got a go-kart, if you've got a really fun motorcycle you want to rip around here, or if you want to go play in the dirt, IMI has it all and it's really affordable. Got it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that sounded good. Okay. All right. Let's see if the Super can take me with launch control on. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Launch control activated. Oh, we're sliding around. Oh, it just roasted the rear tires, but it did launch better. still took it though. That was still the king, although that Supra looked like it had a, a pretty interesting launch. Cook the tires a little bit. I think the GT the GTR took us 5.42, 0 to 60. So launch control worked that time. Looks oh. like it, yeah. Although you did spin up those tires Spun pretty good. Spun the tires a lot. I was sliding all over the place. 5.42, 0 to 60. 5.42? Yeah. All right, let's try it one more time in that same configuration. Cool. Let's see if we can limit the wheel spin. There you have it. That straight six sounds so much better than the uh, V6 in the Nissan. It's, it just it has to be said. This GTR has a 3.8 liter V6, so it's a V configuration versus a straight in the Toyota. It makes 565 horsepower, and it has twin turbos versus a single turbo in the Toyota. It has a six speed automatic transmission, but it's a dual clutch automatic transmission, so it can really rip those shifts. The GTR launched in 2007. It's going on 14 years old. Nissan says zero to 60 in under three seconds, but it really, it's still a quick car even in 2021. It may be a little bit old, but it still is a hell of a straight line rocket. So same thing, uh, Alex has got launch control on, I and the Nissan don't. Let's see what happens. Case is lining us up. Precision engineering going on here. The transmission does really rip shifts in the Nissan. My heart's pounding right now. This is awesome. This is a lot of fun, and I haven't done this nearly as much as Tommy, but let's see if we can take him with launch control this time. That GTR launch is harder. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. That was a much better launch. Still sliding around a little bit. That was a good launch control session, and he took me. on that one. Oh, I can't have that. But yeah, we got him that time and much better 0 to 60. 4.48. I got you, bud. What was it? 4.48. All right. Hooked up that time. Now it's time to engage what made this car so special. The incredible launch control in the GTR. We're going to see uh, what happens then. The Supra is rolling on a set of Michelin Pilot Super Sport Performance tires. These are all season tires. Of course, the Supra is rear wheel drive, so that's gonna play into how it launches. The GTR is rolling on a set of Dunlop SP Sport Max GT 600 DSST CTT tires. Holy cow! This is a, this is a super high performance tire, and of course, it's got all wheel drive. All right, here we go. Case is lining us up. This is the race where we're both gonna be using launch control, and uh, not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous for this one. Automatic mode, turn on the R settings here on these toggle switches. 
plant the brake, plant the gas, and then hold on. Six five seconds, dude. This thing is quick when you don't use a lot of control, but it's out of this world. When you get that thing to four thousand and it dumps that dual clutch, all-wheel drive kicks in. That's that is super car killer. What'd still. you do? Zero to sixty. Three point six five. Wow. Yeah, it's quick. insane. So we're a little bit off what Nissan says, but we are you know five thousand feet of uh, uh, elevation here, but still, it's amazing. Now obviously the GTR won in the drag races as it should. It's way up on power and it's got all-wheel drive. But Alex, which one of these two would you rather have? Definitely the Supra. It's still plenty fast. I had a ton of fun driving it and I could basically buy two of these Supras for the price of the GTR. So Supra all day long. I gotta say though, the Nissan is still the Japanese sports car king. I would love to see them do some kind of crazy electric one, but if you still want an insanely quick car, even in 2021, the <laughs> Nissan will put a huge smile on your face, albeit for $120,000. As always, this has been Tommy and... And Alex. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to head on over to TFLcar.com for all the latest news in the car world. Catch you in the next one.